Hello, How's it going, Mark? Good, good to see you too. How you guys been? Pretty good. What about you? Ready? Mm-hmm. Yep. Ready and excited. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. Oh, it is very exciting. <laughs> 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 I know. Hold on, I can't make my decisions. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. This is our beautiful Janice. She's our banquet manager. She is nice to meet you, Janice. In charge of your event wedding day. Our chef Edgar, executive chef Edgar Cano. Pleasure. Welcome who's to the whole season. Brain behind it all. Mm -hmm. An amazing Nikandro. He is welcome. the guy that's behind the line cooking your food. All right. Our chef's expertise. And Daniel. I'm the mix, Daniel. And he's the muscle. <laughs> okay. We're going to start on your top right. You have a snow crab with some uh, preserved lemon aioli. Uh, right underneath, it's a petite bruschetta with herlum tomato mm. and uh, some uh, balsamic reduction, the cheddar di Modena. Please enjoy. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Snoop Diller and I have opened and operated probably over 20 businesses at this point. Uh, started opening up businesses when I was at the young age of 20 and just kind of found my niche in the restaurant industry and can't lie being in the restaurant industry has actually made me millions of dollars but doing so i've learned that it is so stressful <laughs> you got to hire a lot of staff in order to get things done uh, each of my restaurants probably has anywhere from 10 to 40 employees so that's a lot of liability there that's a lot of payroll taxes there and so in doing so i started looking at other industries that i could get in that would be just the exact opposite uh, that would provide me a lot of wealth and a lot of income but not with the headache not as much operating expenses not as much overhead and not as much staff and i came across the salon suite industry wow it's just so amazing it's an industry where you literally can be an absentee owner and so that's why i put together this course after just bumping my head the first few years when I first started my first location I made a lot of mistakes and there's no reason why you guys should have to make those mistakes I put together a step-by-step -step course that is gonna break everything down from the beginning from looking at locations negotiating your lease to actually opening up your salon suite business so we're gonna take everything step by step we put it together in a course for you guys that way you don't have to make a lot of the same mistakes that I made when I first got started. So go ahead, click the link below and go ahead and get signed up. You want to select, so I might definitely narrow it down to two or three, but normally two or three, but it's whatever you like. Okay, I wanted to make sure that we sample our wine because this is the house wine that mm -hmm. our guests mm -hmm. will taste. Okay. So I wanted to see, you know, mm -hmm. everything make that sure we're it was okay. Right. I want to make sure that we're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's pretty pri pricey. Mm -hmm. I won't do no more than three of these. Mm. Delicious. What are your thoughts on the lamb shop, baby? Like it. This is pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna start a little less. Okay, good. That's perfect. I'm gonna give the lamb a seven. Okay. That's just because it's the first thing. I don't want to be like two. <laughs> what do you think, baby? Seven? Mm hmm. Okay. My non-existent Jamaican ancestors would definitely have something to say about the, <laughs> <laughs> the jerk, but it's delicious. It's good. But I think it's good because it's not it's overpowering, not spicy, yeah. you know, um, you know especially for older people and yes. stuff too, oh you know. God, the chicken is cooked really well. Mm -hmm. It's very moist. That chicken is like I wanted a little more flavorful, you, you know. Flavor. That's another thing too. I need to make the notes for what we liked about each one. Hold tight. I wouldn't have minded more of the chimichurri on the lamb chop. Okay. All right, good. That's what, what I need about first. You? I feel like it was enough because, like, you know, if somebody don't like the sauce, it's not, like, as overpowering. You know, I feel like we can always get more, but... But yeah, that, that jerk, that chicken satay, I would like to have been seasoned a little bit more. If you remember correctly, we wanted at least one chicken appetizer. And it was either this or the crisp, like a like a... A tender of some sort. Mm. We said if we didn't like the jerk, that we would go for the the other option of chicken. What you could do too, just like what you guys are saying, if you do not like, if something need more flavor, mm -hmm. that's all you gotta do. Mm -hmm. is like, hey, because I would still like to have it, but just have it more flavorful. I'd rather have that than I have a fried chicken tender going around. You know. 
The uh, chicken satay, the jerk chicken satay could just use a little bit more seasoning. Yeah. Not necessarily jerk sauce, but just seasoning in yeah, general. Yeah. yeah, any notes. So whatever, when we finish whatever notes we have, we'll make a selection, we'll make adjustments. Yeah. You want Nine a little feta? In the house. You want a little feta on it, or are you good to go with just like mm, A little that feta, I think, would be perfect. Yeah, mm -hmm. That would be perfect. Yeah. All ready for the crab? Sure. So it looks like a lemon. It's a lemonade only. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. People are like this. Mm -hmm. Very fresh. Let me ask you for the reception, for the welcome reception on Sunday, what are your thoughts? Like, what were you thinking? What are we doing? I know we blocked this space, but I'm like, I don't think we talked much about, like, what's your vision? I honestly, I want it to be pretty much heavy hors d'oeuvres for them, being that they're doing so much, you know, starting from Sunday all the way up into the wedding day. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we could do some stations, okay. hot dog herbs, something along those lines. Sure. Pasta stations, you know, yeah. things like that. So the guests can mingle. So they can mingle eat. and not have an actual full dinner. Mm -hmm. Because we're giving them a, a, right. a you know, the next day, and then we're giving a, you know, blown out wedding with a full course meal, so. Okay, awesome. I know Snip's a little nervous about this one. <laughs> about what? <clears throat> oh, oh, this one. But you, Salmon. Look, you look smoked. Mm -hmm. You know, so. So you go first then, and then, and then give her the, the safe word. I don't know if she will like this. Mm -mm. So I'm gonna let you be the judge of this. What do you think about it? Is it flavor? It's like almost too much of what it is, you know? Too much salmon? Yeah. yeah. That's exactly. It's not like a bite, it's like, exactly. yeah. Yeah. You have capers. Take your fork and just taste a little just bit as, of the Yeah, salmon. just exactly. Okay. Just do the top, the cream okay. with some of the salmon. Yeah. I think if they mix it with like some onions, some capers. Yeah. Less, with a little bit of, uh, of whatever that cream is on top. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I like the taste one. of the salmon, but I would yeah. definitely say, like they said, you know, some capers and, yeah. you know, some yeah. little deal current. Yeah. What? How many <laughs> items were you thinking? Please enjoy. Thank Thanks. you. Your mother's going to be happy. Oh, yeah. She <laughs> loves that type of soup. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, she does. Oh, She's excited, too. <laughs> She's already bought three dresses. Wow. Is she doing, like, three changes? Yeah, like, no. even, start, even starting, like, five months ago, she was just like, y'all not excited. We, like, we are excited, yeah, you know, but, like, like I don't, excited. We're I'm like, like, I'm, I'm excited. like, well, I got to prepare right. for it and pay for it, so <laughs> my excitement going to come once that last check is written. Yeah, that's, that's where your excitement will come. Nice, We've been nice. Together 21 years. Wow, yeah. that's a long time. So, long so give us, give us stories. some tips. Mm -hmm. Give us some tips. The one communication. Mm -hmm. That's what everybody says. Like, and but I don't think people understand what communication is. Mm -hmm. It's literally just like you are raw. Like whatever you can't hide it, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, you just say it. Because I mean, listen, at seven years, we had the seven-year situation mm -hmm. where we're like, okay, let's peace. They gotta peace out. Mm -hmm. And then we had, so we stuck it out, and then we went and did some couple counseling, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until we put the cards on the table mm -hmm. and we're like, okay, this is what's pissing me off. That's what happened. <laughs> mm -hmm. So then that actually broke that barrier. And then yep. we're like, since then, we're like, okay, mm -hmm. so we gotta talk about it. Yeah. So now if something's happening, we're like, okay, we gotta talk. Yeah, I'm like, I'm one of those people, like, I have to hear the apology. Yeah. But once I get the apology, as long as it's when it's up major, I'm good, you know? But like, if I don't hear the apology, like, if you just act like you're sorry, but you don't actually say, you know, I'm sorry, I can't fully get over it. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, I gotta hear it, oh I gotta God. hear it. How long have you guys been together? For about a year and a half now. It's good. It's fine. It's good. It's good. You're on the right track. Mm -hmm. Everything starts it's from just, the It's just know that it's always going to evolve. Mm -hmm. It's always going to evolve. For sure. And the last thing is what works for the two of you that's doesn't work for other people. That's yep. right. And that's yeah. all that matters. So there's no, mm -hmm. like, because, you know, we always grow up and you have this perfect family in your, mm -hmm. your head. And it should be like this. No. It doesn't that. work that way. Mm -hmm. It is what your family, you are your family. That's so right. whatever mm -hmm. works for you that's is right. what works for you. Yep. Doesn't matter what everybody else says. Let me preach faster. There's a book called uh, Language of Love, do you know? Oh, love yeah. language, yeah. five love languages. Oh, what is it called? Five love Thank languages. You, yes. I got got love. both of us a copy. What's your language of love? I feel like I have two. Um, words of affirmation and acts of service. Okay, what about you? I mean, we're gonna have two. <laughs> I think you're at all five, but I think quality time. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay. 
Wow, they're gonna have that large of a cut of ribeye? Yeah, that's yeah. Bone and ribeye, yeah. yeah. 40, 14 yeah. ounce wow. uh, split bone ribeye. Okay, it's together. So we're gonna go, you went straight for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that's right. Steak is good, a little bit more salt, but I mean, that's just me, that's so. Awesome. Pass me this up. It's okay. I think the striped bass is not one of my favorite fishes, but for people who like it, I think they're going to enjoy it. But yeah, I think all three entrees medium. are great. Are we able to get an updated list of who all has reserved rooms oh, here oh, and, oh, and maybe how many are rooms are still available? Because I've been trying to like let people know to go ahead, you know, if they want to stay here and reserve their rooms. So I'm going to try and say, find you a different suite to show you now. The okay. beginning is for Sunday, Monday. Right. And I'll get you other rate. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll hang out for that. Yeah. yeah. That, that will be best because you guys are not going to, being that you guys are the host, you know, the both brides. You guys will not be in that room mm -hmm. until it's time to sleep and get yep. <coughs> going to be everywhere else. And everybody's going to be all over you guys. Okay, ready? So. Sure. Let's go look at <laughs> okay, the I'm gonna walk you guys through it. Just talk to you guys a little bit about why I got into this industry. This salon suite industry is a merging of two multi-billion dollar industries, the real estate industry and the beauty industry. And basically, essentially what you're doing is being a landlord for salon suite owners. I divided up the suites by size according to what I know works according to my rent, put prices on them, and then made them available for lease. They run their own businesses, they pay their rent on Friday, they've got their own insurance, and all of our suites are different prices based upon the size of the suite and what it comes with. Some are gonna be stylists, some are gonna be makeup artists, some are gonna be lash techs, some are gonna be estheticians, so that's why it's so important to take our Salon Suite Master Course so that you know how you need to build and lay your suites out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. This is fine. I love it. Mm-hmm. And that's perfect. And if we wanted to have a few people come up, they can be right on over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was our tasting, um, the menu tasting. Um, I'm super excited. We picked out a lot of delicious options. I tried to cover everybody. From the pescatarians to the veg to the people like me who eat everything um, everything was delicious and i'm glad that we were able to agree i don't feel like anything was left out the wines were delicious and we got a chance to check out our suite well one of our suites which was also lovely just super exciting so stay tuned that one's supposed to say stay tuned <laughs> stay tuned See you soon. <laughs> Was that cute? Mm -hmm. All right, appreciate appreciate y'all subscribing to my YouTube channel. Keep tuning in. Never know what you're gonna see. <laughs>